Baby, sit down, let's talk. <clears throat> you know any time I call you and tell you say sit down, let's talk, it's about something serious. This talk is about your cheating and how much you have cheated on me. You have cheated on me so much and every time I try to leave, the whole community, oh, don't leave him, oh, don't leave him, ma, don't leave this man. You are not have children to get out. You're married. Don't bring your home down, ma. Please forgive him. Please forgive him. Hmm? You crying, holding my foot to, to, to not leave you. Your pa crying, holding my foot to not leave you. Your mom doing the same thing. When I look at the children, they start for When I look at three of y'all, you're looking more sorrowful than the children then. And I listen to you and the whole community and I forgive you to the point where I feel that I not forgive you 70 times, 70 times. So you see, you have reached your limit of cheating. You have reached your biblical limit of cheating because of the fact that I have forgiven you 70 times, 70 times. So, you better not dare unzip that pants for another female. Because I don't even know what's going to happen if you unzip that pants for another female. If you do, God might just Strike your penis off. In fact, I will keep that in my prayer. So the next time you unzip that pants for another female, God will strike your penis off. That's part one of this discussion. Part two is, it is my time to cheat on you. No, 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 no. Don't get scared. I'm not talking about the type of cheating you were doing. I'm not trying to do the type of cheating you were doing. My own cheating is very constructive, okay? So... My own cheating on you has to do with financial cheating. Since we came to the country, yeah, we've been doing everything 50 50 50 50. And then sometimes I do way more than you because I, I'm the mother and I have to take care of the children. We've been doing, but we've been doing everything else 50 50. But since I decided I have to cheat on this man, somehow I've been meditating and dreaming, thinking about it. But since I have already forgiven you, I can't pay my debt. So I said, some way I have to cheat on you in. And I decided I must cheat on you financially. So from now on, you need to pay all the bills while I save my money. And if you need help, I will help you out. But from now on, I'm not paying any bills. You will pay and I save my money. If you need help, I will help you out. See, God created, in fact, said, God created women as helpers, right? We are just your ribs. We are just supposed to help you. And that's what the Bible says. We are helpers. And help us supposed to do things willingly. But I've been doing way more than that. And then plus, you have given me a reason to find some way to cheat on you. And see, mine is constructive. You will benefit from it. Even though I will benefit the most, you will still benefit. So you have to accept this, my proposal. Because if you don't accept it, I will have no choice but to go back and unforgive all the forgiveness and cheat on you the same way you cheat on me. See, I don't want to do that. So if even so you have to accept what I just said. I know you don't want that either. So you have to accept my financial cheating. Okay? You have to accept it. You have no choice. I have to I have to equalize this somehow. But not in that way to make myself look bad, to make you look bad. So from now on, you have, you have to allow me to cheat financially so that I can be happy. That's the only thing that will make me happy to feel, to feel that forgiving you for all the cheating is very meaningful. So keep that in the back of your mind. I don't, I don't want your opinion. I don't want you to, to make no argument over it. Do not, because if you make argument over it, this this whole marriage will be over. Because I have put up with you a lot. And you need to be able to put up with my method of cheating. Thank you.